Hi, I'm John Dewberry, and uh, my moment was way back in Little Farm in Virginia, Gainesville, Virginia, when I was eight years old. I was not doing so well in swimming, and my father came and said, do you want to win? I said, yes, sir, I'd love to win. I said, I'm tired of getting beat. And he said, well, I want you to run three miles in the morning and two miles at night. And I thought to myself, geez, I'm doing all this work around the farm and all that. That sounds like a lot of work. What's that got to do with swimming? And of course, and I didn't ask him at that point, you know, like most kids, I was eight years old at the time. I believed everything my father said. So I commenced to running three miles in the morning and two miles at night. And sure enough, I started gaining confidence in my physique and in my strength of mind, because it was kind of hard to do that when you were taking care of those chickens and horses and dogs. And uh, sure enough, I started winning some meets and there was always these big kid that had beat me all my life. And, we got to the state championship, and um, and we won, and I won two state championships all through my life. Whether it was football, when I had some real low moments, transferring from Georgia to Georgia Tech, it was my father who said, "You better read the writing on the wall." When I got into business, and I called him and said, "Geez, I feel like these people are not uh, believing what I've got to say." Or, or following me the way I'm used to people following me when I lead. He said, well, John, that may be true, and you'll need five to 10 years to prove your reputation, just like you did in sports. But this is a little different, and I want you to remember this, that uh, all these people are not in your huddle, so hold your own counsel and be careful in your deeds and your words. Uh, and then later in life, when I faced cancer, and he faced cancer at the same time, you know, I was able to turn that around a little bit on Dad and give him a little bit of gentle love and tough love, which I experienced from him through my entire life. And what my father was trying to teach me, really, was that you need inside to feel like you deserve to win. And it blocks out all the insecurities. I've been blessed with a lot of aha moments, but I have to say, they were all from, uh, came from my father. <laughs>